Bitch, pick up the phone. Pick up the motherfucking phone. I know y'all ass don't watch Love and Hip Hop by now, so let's get in and let's talk about it with me and my new motherfucking backdrop, bitch. Um, Jasmine, you the bold bitch. You a bold bitch than I ever because I don't know the fuck if I'ma fuck another bitch and have a well, I can't have no damn baby, but fuck her. You the bold bitch to fuck somebody's husband and then go down to her motherfucking job after you done had a baby with, with her husband. You was a bo you was a new kind of bitch. Shit, Miss Shirley. Couldn't have been my mama come. My mama would have beat the brace off of that bitch. My mama would have beat that motherfucking wig off your motherfucking head. She bad wig, bitch. You tried it. But What really is there to hash out with her and Rashida? You know, I feel like... <sighs> you knew who I was, like, when you was sleeping with my husband. You know what I'm saying? So what is there for us to hash out? You see what I'm saying? I just feel like... <sighs> I just feel like... You should be trying to hash things out with Kurt. You see what I'm saying? Like, your baby could be a product of my family, but not you don't have to be. You just some bitch that fucked my husband. You see what I'm saying? Bitch, I don't give a fuck about you. The baby is innocent, but you ain't. We ain't talking about the baby. We talking about you and your whole, whole ass, rotten ass, corroded ass pussy. Okay, bitch? But it still ain't all Jasmine's fault and Jas everybody blaming Jasmine, but it's both of their fault. But Jasmine, you can get off the hood that quick. I'm coming, I'm coming back to you, bitch. You don't need to even worry about that. Um Erica. You talking about you about to push out these hits, but you gonna be working with Stevie J. Bitch, who the fuck has Stevie J made a hit for? Bitch, I don't know Stevie has Stevie J had a hit in the 2000s. And then Erica, you were sitting out here with Tommy at this this dinner. Like you was trying to suck her lips and her uterus, bitch. Damn. I was like, goddamn bitch, you was trying to eat all her pussy lips. I mean, I guess so. Tommy said, nah, bitch. I done been got by another motherfucking Puerto Rican, bitch. You ain't about to get me in there and spray me down to the blogs and call the police on me, bitch. Hell nah, but we can be cool, but you ain't getting this pussy. Um. Mimi, you talking about you don't really be getting in the middle of Stevie J business, girl. Other than you down here fucking, uh, fucking porn stars and eating pussy every season stevie j is your storyline so what are you talking about you don't really be in the middle of his business you the re he the reason why you on this show so what are you talking about girl i ain't gonna say nothing because your hat was laid this episode so i'm gonna let you off the hook tonight as the leader i don't know how i feel about you Cause I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how you was on this show last season. The people got a got a chance to see who you are, and you still don't have no music or nothing. Like you actually sat on this show and thought Stevie J was gonna make you. So I just don't understand. And I know y'all watched this show before y'all actually win an audition. I know y'all seen how he treated Jocelyn and Jocelyn ain't got hit the first or the second. Sierra got her a fine man, bitch. A fine man. Bitch, she got her a fine nigga. Let me get this shit. I'm tired of standing up shit. My legs tired. 
see here we got her fine man i'm glad that she finally decided to move on even though it looked like next episode somebody died um but speaking of Sierra, did y'all catch the tea when that when that hairstylist spill all that mother bitch? That was some hot tea talking about some yeah, he got a two year old baby out here. And I was like, wow. Like at first I was like, why would the stylist hold this tea? But I get where she was coming from. Like, shit, bitch, I won't trying to spill the tea either way. I was gonna get fired, but maybe she won't fire the girl, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like that she should have really got upset with a girl, cause the girl I Shit, the girl was like, shit, I'm on TV. I might as well get get this little five minutes of fame while I'm here. So, I get how she could be upset with a girl at that present time, but making this big-ass scene, oh, you fired about it, and then Carly Red trying to make a scene about it. And I'm like... Like Carly, you always fucking some secondhand producer. Last, what was it? Two seasons ago, you was with Life Genius who ain't had a hit, and I don't know, God knows when. I mean, Sean Garrett has hits under his belt, but he ain't really buying. He ain't really producing that. I mean, he was on Tiana's. He was on Tiana Taylor's show tonight, but she scrapped that whole album and she didn't let Kanye produce her album. So I don't. I don't know. Um. know how I, I don't know how I feel about that situation I, I think like you so upset with her after she just spilled the tea to you about your your husband having a baby on you but you mad at this girl because the girl come to your shop I mean I could get how you could be upset with her but fire her like she, there, to be honest, there really would have never been no wrong time to tell, no right time to tell you nothing like that. Because either way, you would have reacted. You would have been upset. Why the fuck you ain't tell me? There never would have been a right time to tell you that. There's never a right time to tell somebody some shit like that. Well, I guess it was on TV, so y'all had to make a scene out of it. Your messy ass color red, but your hair was laid for the gods, bitch. Um, Rashida. How did you let Jasmine get on this show? I would just think that you have enough of pull as to where you've been on this show long enough as you can say, okay, so if y'all let her on this show, then I don't I don't understand that how you didn't have enough pull to pull, push this girl off this show. So I don't like she already fucked your husband. Now she's on the same show as you where you get your check from and now she's getting this, the same check. Maybe not the same amount, the same tax bracket, but she's getting a check. Um, yeah, I just, I don't understand that like, hell, it's bitches that can't even sit next to me. Like, and I get that it's TV, but I'm saying like, bitch, you can't even breathe the same air as me if you on the same energy, let alone fuck my nigga and have a baby by him and you got a nerve to be on the same show as me. Bitch, you lucky if you can get an interview. I just don't see how you let that go down, but I guess that's why y'all storyline be seeming, seeming kind, of fake, kind of fake sometimes. Like, cheating is one thing. I might could get over cheating, but I don't know how I would react if somebody went out here and cheated and let alone let, had another life outside of stepping out on me. The girl knew who I was. And she got a baby by you? And I, I, my kids, our kids got to call that baby. I just... Wow, that's deep. Like... And for so long, I really thought Rashida and Kirk's storyline was fake. But, I mean, hell, I guess not. Um, I love me some Tommy. Love me some Tommy. I live for Tommy. Um, why does Melissa look like a young boy who never hit puberty? She just looked like she wasn't hit that puberty stage. 
I don't know. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna give her too much. Look, don't come over here. Don't come. Don't be down in my comments talking about. I'm. No, nah, don't do that. Um. When Erica was crying with Estelita, I can get into the strip down. I can get into the, the strip down, Erica. And Erica Mina isn't really as bad. She just tries to tries to play this queen persona or whatever. I don't know what the fuck that's about or where that's coming from. Um, Jasmine, your son is so cute. But bitch, your mama is bad as fuck, bitch. I was looking at your mama. I was like, damn, bitch. Your mama look better than you. And I don't even like women, but your mama is bad. I was like, god damn. And then I know grandma was, I know your grandma was fine as fuck in her day. You, like, you come from a shit, bitch. Your mama. But you know what? Your mama was absolutely telling you, right? When she was like, you know, I don't like the situation at all. She was like, you know what? You were wrong. That's what happens when you deal with a married man. What did what the fuck did you expect to happen out of it? And you know what? She's absolutely right. Um And the mama asking will Rashida ever be okay with this? I highly fucking doubt Rashida would ever be okay with this shit. Um that's like asking somebody Can you shoot me? I'm trying to give me some more light, y'all. Feel like it's dark. That better. That's a, that's a little better, ain't it? But um, I guess Rashida. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen with Rush and Kirk and his baby situation. I really don't know. Now I got a fucking shadow. Um, Kelly got more sense than the motherfucking parents do. She was not here for it. She, I like, I like Kelly. Kelly is logical and practical at the same motherfucking time because she was letting Kirk ass have it. She was not here for the bullshit. Kirk, she let your motherfucking ass know, no. Like, that's, that's my brother, but you wrong and she wrong too. Check, and Rashida was like, check your motherfucking bitch. She don't need to be coming out to my job. Hell no, nah, she's absolutely right. Don't bring no bitch to my motherfucking job. Moving on to Erica and Tommy. Erica and Tommy will probably be good friends, but where the fuck was Don Peace this episode? I want Don Peace and Tommy to be friends. I guess I guess Don Peace with her man Tokyo. I never knew Tokyo uh, was the one who sung. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. I did not know that's who sung that. Um, I haven't seen her on Instagram and I never know who she was, a girl from New Orleans and all that kind of stuff. But it's good to see see her in the A. She gonna add a little thick and juicy to the cast, a little big titties, big ass, and be good to the kids, baby. Yeah, she look like she can cook a mean meal, bitch, on a Sunday through Friday. Yes. Um <laughs> I'm stupid bitch. I bet she can make a good meal. And she from New Orleans too. She blessed, she got it going on. She ain't thick for no reason, bitch. Um, I like Tokyo in a like ghetto girl way. I guess if that's what you like. When Carly and then was at that salon, Carly hell was laid. Carly hell was laid, bitch. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all that Carly hell was laid. <sighs> what did I miss? I want to go back. I want to go back to this style of situation. Would y'all be mad if that happened to you? Like, I get being mad at the girl because she didn't spill the tea. But would you fire somebody for that? Like, if she held that news and then telling you that the girl came there and got her hair done... You know what I'm saying? Because I would have been, I would have been like, well, who is this bitch? Take me to this bitch. That's what the fuck she should have done. Okay, bitch, well, I'm putting you all in the motherfucking middle. Take me to the, you know this bitch. You know she coming to my motherfucking shop. So take me to her right now. You told me about it. You finna be in the middle because you just inserted yourself in the motherfucking middle, bitch. Take me to her. Um... Erica.
Erica, I like you, but I don't see no music coming out for you. I'm not buying your music, and I don't think nobody else either. You just a pretty ratchet girl to like to turn up on reality TV, and that's just all about it is, girl. Mimi, I still don't understand how you, I guess, because you willing to eat pussy. Slide off a shower pole. You would just, girl, you would do anything to be on TV, I guess. You just thirsty, girl. Keep that check going. I ain't mad at you, bitch. Um... Trying to figure out what else is going on. Carly Red and Sean Garrett. Carly, I swear you don't have. I, I, I just you trade more niggas up than the motherfucking the damn NBA Association, girl. I just don't understand. You go from you go from musician to musician every season. Just a little while ago, you had a tattoo. I just don't understand. Every every season, you got somebody new in your pussy. I want I want to turn on one of these seasons, and you like, I'm still with the same nigga. I know your pussy busts wide open, bitch. It must not be, because you can pull them, but you can't keep them, so it must not be that damn good. It sound like they trying to come and blow my house up. I don't want nobody coming for me. <coughs> I think that's all that was going on this episode. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta look like it's about to pick up. It's starting off kind of slow. um, But it looked like it's about to pick up. Uh, Where is Mama D? Mama D got the pink slip. Where is... um? What happened to Tammy and Waka Flocka and Miss Dale? What what happened to them? Are they gonna? I I like I, and Tammy was just starting to grow on me, and I know she's like working on music or whatever. So I wouldn't think that she would be gone, but she really wasn't bringing much to the show. So I don't know. I don't know if she's coming back or not. So I guess we'll see what happens then, bitch. But um. Yeah, that's all I really got for this episode, y'all. I'm 17 minutes in. But tonight was good. It was a, it was a good Monday night. Uh, oh, shit. My show came on and I missed it. My white woman show. Good girls. But, um, yeah. Yeah, this this was this was a good Monday night for reality TV. Um, I felt so good to watch Tiana and Eamon. I felt good and proud to be black on reality TV right then. It was just like, wow. Like, we have a genuine show that's really showing black love. Um, hell, I'll take them over Remy and Papoose any day. And on that note, I'm out of here. Bye-bye.